AAA gaming is officially dead. For 30 years, the gaming industry has been dominated by AAA studios, yet with the ever decreasing quality of each release alongside the ever increasing competition being put out by smaller studios, we are witnessing what many would call the collapse of an empire. This collapse is being fueled by a crisis of ideas, a ship now fixed later mentality, and a switch from gamer driven development to profit driven development. But why should I or anyone else really care? Well, most of us, including myself, grew up playing games games like Call of Duty Black Ops, Assassin's Creed 3, Infamous, Uncharted, and Far Cry, games that we have invested hundreds if not thousands of hours into. Yet the intellectual property of these incredible franchises are controlled by AAA studios that are either butchering or outright abandoning these games, or even worse, cloning them and re-releasing them. This is where the crisis of ideas becomes crystal clear. Activision has taken Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, two of the most successful games in the franchise and turn them into their worst performing games. You would think that a studio with the size and capital of Activision would be able to come up with more creative and inspiring games than a remake of a game that is well over a decade old and a sloppy one at that. On the other hand, you have games like Power World, Lethal Company, and Helldivers. Great games made by studios a fraction of the size of any AAA studio. Pokemon games have been near exact clones of each other with slightly better graphics for the past 10 years. They are the bread and butter of Nintendo, a publisher with a market cap of nearly $11 trillion. Pal World, on the other hand, took Pokemon and completely innovated the game loop in what is becoming one of the best selling and definitely most played games of 2024. And they did all that with a studio that didn't know how to animate characters, develop in a game engine, and all without any budget. It's clear that recently indie studios are putting to shame the unoriginal and uninspired games produced by AAA studios. With that being said, there is no doubt that when it comes to game trailers, there is no competition between the two. AAA studios have the advantage by far. They spend millions of dollars on a trailer that is mostly cutscenes with no actual gameplay in it. For example, the quote gameplay trailer for Starfield is three minutes long with less than 30 seconds of actual gameplay in it. So what's the purpose of making a gameplay trailer that is less than 10% actual gameplay? Well, it's because the gameplay has not actually been implemented or fully integrated at this stage of development. Instead, studios like Bethesda want to sell their product before actually making it. This leads to what I like to call a ship now, fix later mentality. It is the snake oil equivalent of the video game industry. AAA studios promise a shiny state of the art game in their trailer and then release a game filled with bugs that looks like nothing promised on their trailers. On the other hand, you have a game like Helldivers 2 where the actual gameplay has the same quality, if not better than the cinematics. Though I understand the concept and the importance of selling a game before spending the resources needed to produce it, it is equally as important to deliver on the promise that you're making to your fans. Otherwise, you lose the trust of the people who actually buy your game. This is exactly what happened with Activision. They overpromised and underdelivered for the last couple of years. And as a result, no one is lining up at GameStop or at Walmart at 12 in the morning waiting for the latest Call of Duty anymore. Their trailers are still still as shiny and crisp as ever, but the sales continue to plummet. This is where we find our next issue. Aside from a buggy game, you also get a game that is over monetized with battle passes, skins, and a million other microtransactions. In other words, the games are being developed for profit rather than for the player's enjoyment. As a result, AAA games become shells of a game with no purpose other than to drain your wallet. Back in the day, AAA studios understood that you made money from a game by making it a good game. Nowadays, studios seem to think that you don't need to make a good game, but rather a good trailer. And it feels a little condescending for us that these studios believe we are dumb enough to continue buying their poorly developed games when indie studios are putting out games like Lethal Company and Baldur's Gate 3. Just like how on YouTube content is king in the gaming industry, gameplay is king. If you continuously fail to deliver quality games, you will lose your audience. And that is ultimately why we are witnessing the death of the AAA industry. It is sad how they continue grasping as straws, but ultimately, I believe, well deserved. If you made it this far into the video, consider hitting that like button. It's completely free and it helps me make more videos like these. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.